The late Olifier, who many described as a lover of good food and dancing, died on the 10th of this month. His former boss at the o &L group of companies, Roche Lock, described him as a joyful person with a distinct ability to be brutally honest at times. The late Olifier worked under Locke for five years at the company as a creative writer after a long spell in the media fraternity. I can assure you that had it not been for the COVID-19 restrictions implemented just last night, this building would have been filled to capacity. For those of you who's, um, not, who I'm not maybe familiar with, I'm Roche Locke, the own our group corporate communications manager. And Francho was part of my team. He was our group journalist and creative writer. And boy, could he write. But he was more than that. He's been a trusted colleague, a confidant, a great support, a partner in crime, and a friend. A former colleague in the media profession, Yochi Kutsier, says the late Olifier even went as far as treating strangers as family in the profession. Francia was unbelievable. You would enter this industry and Francia would be with you as though you have been friends for years. And if you knew him for years, you became family. He was unbelievable. And it pains me. You don't get many such individuals in life. The O&L Group Executive Chairman Sven Time also shared his message of condolence in a video message at the memorial service. When he joined the O&L, I think his life became complete. He was extremely, I think, happy when I saw the outside. He was always friendly, always a smile, and that made him so special in our group. I think the highlight at the end was the teamwork I had with him to um, develop and, and create the Talk to Swim platform. I think it was highly successful and uh, Francois played a significant role, if not every role, to make the success. He is survived by his mother Carol and siblings. The funeral service will be held at the Vinduk United Congregational Church in Komasdal tomorrow. He will be buried at the Komasdal Cemetery on the same day. Kaipa Herikanji, NBC News, Vinduk.